Hi guys, and welcome back to Remote Learning with Mrs. Camacho. We are going to be going into our listening and learning portion of our day. And so we are going to be covering um, seasons and weather. We've talked about the four seasons. We went over um, the characteristics of the winter season. And in today's lesson, we're going to be diving into the spring season. And what I would like to uh, mention to you, boys and girls, is that you really need to be focused and listening very carefully so that you'll be able to understand um, the materials um, and be able to answer the questions that follow, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to, like we always do, um, go into the vocabulary words because that is going to help you to better understand um, the lesson going forward, okay? So the objective in today's, <clears throat> excuse me, today's um, learning will be that the students will be able to identify the characteristics of the spring season and to also, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, identify ways in which um, the weather affects our daily routines, our activities, such as the clothes that we wear and the activities that we can do um, during this season. So we're gonna move on to the vocabulary portion of the lesson, because again, this is gonna help you better understand what you're listening to. And I have images to go with the vocabulary words. I'm going to move my camera in, onto, the, onto my screen, okay? So. Now the first word that we're going to go over is the word blossoms. So I'd like for you to say the word blossoms. <clears throat> and that's flowers on trees or bushes. So for example, Washington DC has beautiful cherry blossoms in the springtime. The next word I want you to say is floods. Can we say floods? Great. Floods is when a body of water overflows and spreads out onto dry land. So for example, the river floods when we get too much rain all at once. The next word is gradually. Can we say gradually? That means slowly, bit by bit. So for example, my flower grows gradually. And then last, uh, the next word is seedlings. Can you say seedlings for me? Great. Seedlings is a young, a young plant. So for example, the seedling will grow into larger plants. And then finally, the last word is thaw. Can we say thaw? Good. Thaw means to begin to melt or soften after being frozen. So for example, I can't wait for the ground to thaw so I can play, plant my flowers. Okay, so then now, boys and girls, we're gonna move right into uh, the read aloud. So I'm gonna bring the images up to the read aloud. There we go. I'm hoping is going to scroll down to where we need to be. Um, sorry for this little delay. And here we are. Not quite, sorry. <laughs> here we are. There we go. All right. So, in today's lesson, uh, we are going to be learning about the very next season in the cycle. So remember, um, the four seasons um, work within a cycle, and that means that it goes over and over again. So we are in, we're going to be talking about the spring season. Um, and remember, the season of spring begins in the month of March, and it goes into April and May. And I want you to listen carefully to this read aloud so that you're able to um, identify and name characteristics of the spring season. Okay, so I'm going to begin with the read aloud. So here we go. Dear kindergartners, after winter, the season is spring. 
Spring arrives gradually, bit by bit, beginning in mid-March, and it continues through the months of April and May. The air warms and the ground begins to thaw because the days are longer and there is more sunlight. The rivers and streams fill with water from all of the melted snow and ice. Tiny green leaves appear on some tree branches. A few new plants may also start to peek up out of the soil here and there. Hibernating animals wake up from their winter sleep. These are all signs that spring has sprung. Spring is, is very windy season. Some people say March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. This means that the weather in spring changes from being stormy and windy in the beginning to calmer and milder by the end. In fact, the windy beginning of spring is a perfect time to fly a kite. In addition to wind, there are also many rainy days in the early spring, particularly in March and April. I love when I get, I get to wear my raincoat and rain boots because then I can splash in puddles. Sometimes after a spring rain shower, you can see colorful rainbows in the sky. There is another old saying that tells us April showers bring May flowers. Can you say that? April showers bring May flowers. Good. This means that the rains of April help flowering plants to grow big and healthy. So they produce beautiful fragrant flowers in May and throughout the summer. Next image. The world outside truly changes during spring. Flowers are one of the most important signs of spring because they tell you what the that the plant world has come to life once again. Soon, bees will be buzzing among the flowers, birds will be chirping in leafy trees, and the afternoon hours will be warm and pleasant. Washington, D.C. is famous for the cherry blossoms that bloom here each spring. In April, the cherry trees throughout the city burst into bloom and millions of brilliant pink and white flowers show that spring is here. My parents and I have a special spring picnic every year under the cherry blossoms. Now I want you to pay particular attention to this next information because it's gonna help you to um, answer the questions at the end of this read aloud, okay? Spring is an important time on farms. For the farmer, it is time to get back out in the fields. The farmer must plow his soil and prepare it for planting. He plows the fields in order to stir up soil nutrients. That's food for plants. And loosen the ground so the new seeds will be able to take root. When the time is right, the, far, the farmer will go through his plowed fields and plant his seeds in neat rows. A couple of weeks later, the field will be brimming with little green seedlings. And by summer, you won't be able to see the brown soil at all beneath all the big green plants. Spring is also an important time for the animals on the farm. Many animals give birth to new baby animals in the springtime. The barnyard and fields are full of baby animals whose mothers nurse and care for them as they grow. Baby horses called foals frolic in the fields. Lambs nestle close to the mother sheep and ducklings line up, follow their mother duck onto the pond. Washington, D.C. was built along the banks of Potomac River. Rivers usually reach their highest levels during the spring. Melted snow from the surrounding fields and mountains drain into creeks and seeps through the ground to reach the river, where it will eventually flow out to the sea. Sometimes the river water becomes so high, it floods. Several holidays are celebrated during the springtime. 
On the Christian holiday of Easter, people often go on Easter hunts to look for decorated eggs or an Easter basket full of candy. During the Jewish holiday of Passover, special food is served to family and friends at the Passover Seder. The Hindu holiday of Holi is a festival of colors during which people celebrate the colors of springtime by dancing, singing, and sprinkling colored water on each other. Another important holiday called Memorial Day is celebrated on the last Monday in May. Sorry. Last Monday in May. On this day, we honor the American men and women who have fought and died in different wars to protect the United States. Many people who celebrate a Memorial Day with parades, picnics, barbecues, and family gatherings. In Washington, D.C., we have a big concert to celebrate. What is spring like where you live? Is it any different from spring in the Washington, D.C.? Sincerely, your friend, Annie. Okay, boys and girls. So, we've covered the season of spring. And I want you to go back if you need to. Stop and pause so that you'll be able to recall information about the characteristics of the season. But let's go over some of the questions that I would like for you to answer, okay? Um, the first question will be, what are some of the characteristics of spring? Now take a few seconds and think about that. If you said flowers blooming, you were right. If you said warmer weather, you're also right. And if you mentioned rainy days and wearing less clothing because of the temperature being warmer, you are right. Okay. Now the next question that I want to go into are, um, I want you to think about and describe some of the changes that happen from winter to spring. And I want you to take that question and I want you to put it in a drawing and in writing and label the picture so that I'll be able to see what um, images you're trying to convey. And then you can send those to me by email. Okay. And very last, very important question. Why is spring an important time on the farm? Again, you can email me your answers or you can record yourself answering that question and e email those to me as well. Remember to keep them short and brief because um, the emails may not go forward to me, okay? Um, again, I'm gonna, that last question is, why is spring an important time on the farm? And you can go back to the read aloud to find the answer to that question, okay? Now, Make sure that um, what I would like for you to do is um, think about those questions, answer them with your uh, uh, adult who's helping you with this. And also you can send me some of your answers through the email like I just mentioned. Um, another thing that I would like for you to do is to take a piece of paper or a paper towel just like this. And if you have a dry bean like a lima bean or kidney bean, or if you have plant, uh, plant seeds at home, I would like for you to take this paper towel, damp it, put the seed in the center, fold it up like this, put it in a plastic cup or in a regular cup or in a Ziploc bag. And then I want you to go back to that and I want you to journal what is going on with that seed, okay? I want you to recap on what we've learned about plants all about plants remember that so I want you to take that and, and do that for me um, so that is the end of this lesson I hope this was helpful and I will be coming forth with some more <laughs>